Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Wednesday message. Uh, this is not my usual location. This is not QI Tower. Uh, this is not one of the many hotels I stay in when I travel. I'm right now at the beautiful, beautiful city of Dubai, one of my favorite locations. I'm here with uh, number one, Dave Joel, we partner Adli, there's Ansar, there's Tarek, uh, there's the chiefs from QNet here behind the camera, is um, Suresh from the V. And I just finished meeting many of the leaders. And next few days, I'm going to meet many of the leaders right here in Dubai, one of the most amazing cities. And uh, this Wednesday, week number three, all right, if you look back at us starting the year, we started with Rise Again, okay? And then QNet was nice enough to give us the most unbelievable fine to Bonanza, all right? And a lot of you guys started the year right with that energy, with that momentum. And now we are coming to week three. And this is a four-week rag advancement month. So this week is a crucial week to check the health of your network, to check how switched on your leaders are, your downlines are, to check on the culture and behavior of Rule 3, presentation, following the system, promoting VCon and all of that stuff, guys. So I believe the third week of a new year will show you much more reality than the first two weeks. Because the first two weeks, the we... Me, Japa, our great one, Dato Sri Vijay, we pumped you up, all right, with excitement, with rise again, with the, with the bonanza. This is the week of reality. And this year, make it a habit that every month, every third week of the month, monitor and check the health of your network, the attitude of your downlines, the attitude of the people building your organization. And today, after speaking to so many leaders, I want to convey on my Wednesday message a lesson that I think helped me survive for 25 years uh, building this organization for Japa and Dato Sri and sitting here today as your upline, as your chief. When I was younger, and I'm still young, but when I was younger, building the business, everything that happened that I didn't like, all right, challenges, uh, downline challenges, upline challenges, crossline challenges, corporate challenges, media, opinions, family. Every one of these challenges used to irritate me a lot. And I guess we are human. So when these things happen around us, and let me guarantee you, even the guys who just started building the new kids on the block, this journey will have guaranteed things not going perfectly all the time. Things are going to go wrong. Things are not going to go your way. Things are going to irritate you. Things are going to stress you out. And let me tell you, if there's one guarantee I give you, this will never stop. It will happen even after 25 years. Today, me, Adli, Dave, we still have challenges every single day. All right. Uh, building the organization, strengthening the organization for Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. And I remember the first time I went to Dato Sri Vijay, and I started to complain and pour my heart out about a certain situation. And he told me, immediately looked at my face and told me, I feel sorry for your downlines. I said, why? Why are you feeling sorry for my downlines? I'm a great upline. I'm switched on 24 hours a day. I said, no. He said, Patman, if this challenge can distract you, so easily, all right? That means for the whole of yesterday and today, while your mind 
was focus on this challenge. I guarantee you, you couldn't focus on your downlines. You could not give them 100%. You could not be the best version of an upline they required. That you were distracted. And one of the main reasons why people struggle to max out in three years, to max out in five years, the main reason why people struggle to achieve their TAT when they are supposed to of that week is not because they're lazy, it's not because they're not doing presentation, it's not because they're morons, it's simply because throughout the journey they get distracted and distracted and distracted by things that are irrelevant to their growth, to their max out, to their future of building the organization. And every time you get distracted, depending how long you empower that challenge to exist in your mind, right? you take away weeks and months from your max out journey. So imagine this. Imagine that you are meant to max out in three years. But you must deduct. Every day you are distracted by some bull sugar, you deduct one week or one month. Every time you spend time complaining about something that you do not control, that you cannot change, you lose one month from the journey. That's the reason why there are people who work hard, who pay the price, all right, who do presentation, but they are still not maxing out after five years, seven years, ten years. And they go and say network marketing doesn't work. Network marketing works. It's proven for 100 over years. It's proven that QNet is the best opportunity in direct sales and network marketing. We have proven it for the last 25 years. And the only reason why some people don't make it, the only reason why people struggle for years and don't achieve their goals is because they count every day since they become an IR. You cannot count your journey in that way, that was Sri Vijay told me. You count the days where you were focused 100% as a networker, as an upline, as an entrepreneur. The days you are distracted by bull sugar, the days you decide to have a balanced life, the days where you decide a movie was more important, sleeping was more important, watching a football match which is not Manchester City was more important, the days you were distracted by negative media, cousin's wedding, cat's birthday, you know, camel's birthday, it doesn't matter. All of those distractions took your focus away from that ultimate journey to max out. That's why some people don't max out within the first five years, ten years, whatever. So the distraction, that Sri Vijay says, is the biggest downfall of every network. Now, the funny thing, when he hammered me, when he corrected me the day I went to file my complaint with him about some problem, I forgot the problem. He said, Patman, can you control that problem? Can you control that challenge? Do you have any power to stop it, modify it, change it or control it? I said, no, it's the media, it's my downlines who don't want to listen to me. It's challenges, it's conflict with uplines, whatever. So he said, if you cannot control it, if you cannot directly control it, why waste time focusing on it? It's the most moronic thing to do. And today, I'm so grateful of that lesson he taught. So I see something that is happening, a challenge, whatever, whatever, conflict, whatever. As long as I cannot directly impact it positively, as long as I cannot control to change it, I don't get distracted by it. I stay focused on my role as your chief, as your upline representing the great ones, Japaras, Bismarck and Datos de Vice. Right? So on this journey, is it possible to max out in two years? Yes. Is it possible to max out in three years? Yes. Is it possible to be the biggest top earner of QNET in the next five years? 100% yes. As long as throughout this journey, you don't get distracted. You don't empower challenges that you don't control. You don't invest time on discussing and wasting time on gossiping and talking about things that do not add value to your financial freedom. If you can move your focus, 
more and more, almost 100%, almost 100%, impossible to achieve 100%, almost 100% to your journey to max out, to your journey to financial freedom, to your journey to becoming a V partner, inshallah, blue diamond, inshallah. You can do it in two years, three years, four years, five. But if you are going to continue to be distracted by the smallest irritants, by the voice of the morons, by the challenges that you do not control, by the attacks of insecure people or whatever, then it's going to take you way too long. All right? And the longer it takes you, the harder for you to stay on this journey. So I always tell people, if you want to build your QNet network, you want to build your organization, you need to be focused every day, every step of the way. And if you can achieve that level of discipline, if you can achieve that level of commitment every single day of this journey, then you can achieve financial freedom or max out in a very, very, very short time. Are you guys with me? So the great lesson that was Sri Vijay taught me. Don't get distracted easily by all the bull sugar happening around you. Stay focused on your ultimate goal of raising others, of building your organization, of achieving your TAT, of making 2024 the year you rise again to be the best version of yourself. Don't empower the morons around you. Don't make them make you a lesser effective upright to the people who trust you and love you. Are you guys with me? So this is week number three. Raise the bar higher. Do the health checkup because this is the real, real reality of the health of your network on week three of 2024. I love you guys. See you at We Africa. See you at ISB. See you at ICE. And see you at the greatest week on in Malaysia in the month of May. I love you guys. And Habibi, come to Dubai. <laughs>